I went to the co-op last night for a pizza, some tobacco, and a Kirby! Look, I've got a Kirby from the co-op! Yeah, I'm only joking. I swapped a Kirby for Hoover Junior. We'd best have a look at what I got. Hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? And hi Joe, the person who I got this Kirby from, who actually lives really, really close to me. He's in the next town. Or I chat to him all the time on WhatsApp, got a little group going, a couple of us. And he got a junior that smashed up in transit. Bit of a shame. And I had one of those juniors up in the loft that I didn't really want, so we got chatting and we swapped. So I swapped a Hoover Junior U1012 in orange, you've seen it on my channel, but it didn't really do anything for me. I have a bit of clear out because I've got so much other stuff in. But I ended up not getting any better off at all because I got this lovely Kirby Heritage 2. Yes, look at that, it is beautiful. Now again, because let me just bring down a bit so you can actually see it. Because I'm not completely au fait on Kirby's, luckily somebody invited me to a... That's no good. To a Kirby Facebook group. Shannon invited me to the... What is apparently the Kirby Facebook group with all the Kirby police hangout. So, I look forward to being told off by them for all the mistakes I'm going to make with both this and the Legend 2 that you see. But it's apparently got the early head. Not quite sure entirely sure how, and a replacement fan casing because I sent a picture of the rating number and apparently it means it's a new casing. So, who knows, but it works really well. We'll have a look at that in a second. In this bag is the stuff I got from Joe with it. So I got an immaculate, immaculate, immaculate hose. Very good condition that is with a plastic end. Now I've seen a lot of them with metal ends, but that doesn't bother me at all. There is a belt on the end of that hose, which is there so I don't use it really. I've got the bent end, which has the holes that the end of the hose should have. So whether it's a later replacement hose, I don't know and I don't care really. It's a very good hose. This is a brand new dusting brush. I know it's brand new, because I took the plastic covering off of it. So incredibly good condition, genuine. I don't think I've used it yet. Dusting brush. A packet of bags that don't fit this, which is fair enough, go over there. And some paperwork, yes, for reasons I'm not too sure about. I have a black and white scan of the instruction manual and Two of the manuals. Now these confuse me a lot. The groups. What these actually are, all the different types of tools that you can get for Kirby's have a group. So the machine and its normal dry tools is the convenience group. It's a little bit, it, it is a bit of sellotape, but it was a lot easier to scan in. So the convenience group is just all of the dry tools. This is the instruction book for the Super Renovation Group, which is the rug renovator, so the, the, the shampoo kit, the sudzo gun, and the carpet fluffing. I've seen on a listing on eBay for a, uh, what's it called? The um, Handy Butler, the Handy Butler Group. So yeah, took some getting used to. So they're the original manuals. Now this, is actually a little bit more interesting than first it seems, and I'm hoping Joe will pop up and comment, but I think that is its original service, or no, this is the actual receipt. So this was bought in 2003, it's so obviously second hand, from Farringdon in Oxford, which isn't too far from where I am now, for 340 quid. So whether Joe's got hold of these separately, because these are from Hitchin, there's a dealer stamp on there from Hitchin. So whether Joe's got hold of those separately, which, fair enough, and this is what came with the actual machine, I'm not too sure, but I'll be honest, this is probably, I'm probably going to get rid of this copy. I'll take out the bit of sale and pop that in one of the other books. 
So yeah, there's lots of paperwork which can go over there safely, really. Right, let's have a close look at the machine itself. In fact, I'll leave you up here for a second. Um, we shall take the bag off. Take off the mini mTOR. So here is the bag. It is in immaculate condition, bar a small hole there, which I've decided I'm not going to care too much about because well, the whole bag, is, Joe's even washed it. It smells lovely. And I put a new, it, it didn't have a bag in when I got it. There was a genuine spare bag included, don't you worry, Kirby Police. And that is in here now because I've been using it at home. So there's that, very good indeed. Drop the cable. Nice thick cable. And we'll pop this off. And we'll take the handle off. Come on. Hang on. There we go. So we have the handle with this design. I think there's a couple of designs for these heritage models. Exactly the same as the legend handle though, in pretty much every way apart from it is black and not burgundy. In fact, although it does have a burgundy cord hook. So whether it is a replacement cord hook or Kirby did what Dyson do, if you strip a Dyson down, there's even a modern Dyson, you will find one yellow original coloured part even on a brand new machine. Right, now we can get down and have a look at the main show. Here we go, so... The Heritage 2, it is a Heritage 2HE. There we go. Now this, I'm not, by fan case, I'm assuming that they mean, and hopefully they will correct me, I can't, I can't hold it one-handed now, this front bit here. Because this back bit has a date wheel that says 1986. Which sort of makes sense, because my Legend 2 is 89. This is 86. It's missing a screw completely from the rear wheels, but I'm not letting that bother me too much. We'll tighten that up at some point. Its headlamp is a lot springier than the Legend 2 I've got, which is probably what it should do. If we lift the belt and take the head off. It has an immaculate brush roll. I can't rotate it because the belt's locked. But A, this is lovely to have. B, I can soften it with the Legend 2 when I do its video so I don't have to immediately buy a new belt, a new brush roll for it. So that's quite handy. Yes, this is what I mean about the stick, the ratings number. It starts with a K73. So not quite sure what that means. But person who said it was a replacement I trust their opinion because they know what they're on about so yeah it's obviously had a replacement really and apart from that there isn't too much to show you really it is just it's lovely really works very well Joe's taking good care of it kept it looking good kept it fed and watered it needs a polish as they all do but that doesn't bother me at this precise second. That can be fixed very easily. I'm sure I can find Mr. Hoover Lux to help me with that. One way or another. Right, so I'll pop the emptor on. Put that there. Plop the cable up here. And we'll get it plugged in. As you can see how lovely it does sound. what as well I saw it vibrating the carpet but it actually started to vibrate you'll remember the this should come up after the Vax 121 dry test where the Power Plus head did a terrible job of picking up all that cereal I can see loads of it bouncing up I'll see if you can pick it up on camera but if not I put a few bits down <laughs>
was bouncing up little tiny crumbs from deep down in the pile. So that's excellent. This works. It works better than the Legend 2, simply because it's got the better brush roll. But they both work pretty well. Let's do the hose. Test the suction. <laughs> Fantastic! So, there we go, I now have two Kirby's. Kirby? Kirby? Kirby's? But this fun does not end here, because if I put this to one side and leave the hose on for good reason, I went shopping! Uh-oh. Yes, my eBay naughtiness knows no bounds and I went shopping. And for £13 plus, Six pounds post actually, and it came the next day. I, I messaged, I don't know, I messaged the seller and said, I've never had something come so quickly. Thank you very much. I have some tools, yes, indeed. That's quite special. We'll do that last. What do I have? Well, I mean, that will be happy because I have some nice bags for life. These are 10p each in the UK. Look, there you go. Me getting all excited about American brands. To my American viewers, look, they're Lidl. They're like a German discount store that sell food and other stuff. They're the sort of place you go in for a pizza and a bottle of milk and come out with an air compressor, a small socket set, the milk, but forget the pizza. So they're Lidl. I didn't see much. They sell quite nice beer. What is this? This is, ah, this is Tesco, trying to be fancy when they're not fancy. In fact, all of these are Tesco. Oh, this is what Tesco normally looks like. There we go. But we don't care about bags. What's in the box? Well, we have. Now, these are all for heritage. So, do fit the machine. Although, they will fit the legend as well. So, we have a Sudzo gun. Although, without the little endy bit. We have the, this is what I mean about the groups. So this is the, but I'm gonna get one out of the box first. We've got the super renovation group box. The handy butler group box. Uh, in there, nothing. The convenience group box. That goes with the handy butler. I didn't actually know what this was. I have some scuttle. Look, all purpose cleaner. Oh, it's new. It's got a hole in it, so I can open it and smell it. And it smells very chemically, but yes, I have some scuttle. That's quite interesting. <laughs> and a very good condition. Old style pneumatic dusting brush. So, yeah. Right, let's pop this over here while smashing my camera to shreds. Yeah! It's pretty cool, all of this. Right, let's... Well, let's start with the super renovation group, because I don't actually quite know what's in all of these. It wasn't listed bit word for word. It was just a job lot of brand new, apparently, Kirby tools. So what have we got? Well, we have the suction intake. It's a little bit. The blowing nozzle. That goes apparently there. Ah, the Sudzo gun should fit in here. Somehow. This is the shampoo tube. We have a, it has been used. I'm not that fussed for 13 quid, I'll be honest. That's the shampoo tank this. Ah, this is the rug renovator. I do believe. It's seen a little bit of use, but it's not too bad. Which is interesting, because I thought that black one that I had with the Legend 2 went with this, but it doesn't. This does have its own different 
design, although from what I can work out, I think Kirby's changed their design so flipping much. Ah, there's the cover for the Sudzo gun look. Marvellous fight. Let's pop that back in there. It's also nice to have the box because all, it all fits a bit better in the boxes. Now, how does this come out? Not easily. I don't want to rip the box if I can help it. No, don't rip, please don't rip. There you're getting caught. There we go. So there's the shampoo tray. I checked this in mine because this has got a rubber, I presume it's a seal so it scrapes all the suds back. So I have to check on my one if it's got that. Now I just want to have a look and see if anything else is hiding under this cardboard insert. If I can just peek around and check. I don't think there is. No, right, that's, that, that's, that's good, that's cool. So, that can go in there. So, yeah, it, it, it's nice to have the space for it all. This is probably, because on the legend, it was one of those battered boxes. Whether it would have come with this originally or not, I'm not entirely sure, but that fits there. Look, the Sudso gun thing should fit there. I don't know where the Sudso gun itself, I think that does just go there, look. I see. I'm going to tuck that in there because I think it should tuck in there anyway. So that sits on top. This pokes into there. And that goes in there. So that's actually awesome. I now have a complete super renovation group kit. I can even look, do the little pop one because actually it's, it's not completely complete missing its little suds bottle however if I just pinch the bottle oh it doesn't fit no that doesn't fit oh so yeah I'm missing the it must be a different design this must just be a, a newer version from the legend 2 fair enough we won't be getting that let's do the popper up I'm pleased with that they're manufactured by the Scott and Fetzer Company. Marvellous. Right, let's see what's in the convenience group box. Which has a few bits and bobs. What do we have? We have the... I'm going to call out the wall brush there. Oh look, I have another Ben 10. So I've got two Ben 10s there. Box isn't in quite the same condition. This is the floor brush, identical to be mentioned, and that goes in there. Right, we is missing the turbo brush, which fair enough, I suppose. Oh my goodness me, another pneumatic tool. Blimey, I don't see this listed. Look, that is a again very early pneumatic. Upholstery brush, look it matches that. Interesting. There's another dusting brush, look, oh it's a different design as well. And you can see now how new that other one is. Well this one's still not too bad. So I have two dusting brushes. Ha! The handle to convert it to a handheld machine. The little crevice tool brush. And a carry strap. That's quite handy. Obviously, so I can use all of these with the other Kirby. They all fit each other. So that's cool. So I do see to you missing the extension wand. Looks to be some sort of air freshener, carpet freshener space there. The turbo tool. Odorific. And the crevice tool. And by the looks of it, the manual and the backpack, although I, I could put the manual here, I won't, but that's not too bad. Okay, for £13, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm going to put my new dusting brush in there, look. The old one can sit there. This should go there. I'll pop that there, actually. That should go there. 
that can go there. The strap does need to go there. Or I can put my spare belt in the belt space. Marvellous. The belt can go in there. I'll put the crevice tool brush in there. And both of my bent ends can go in. And there we go. So I'm missing a few little bits. But there's my convenience group box. I reckon it'd be a lot easier to find the actual bits than the box that goes with them. So I'm not too fast. And here we have another handy buckler. Very nice indeed, although unlike the one that I got for the tradition, for the other one that I showed you, this has the little nubule, so I haven't got to wedge a piece of cardboard in. This is a 2581HB with a belt that is on, which is annoying because that will stretch, so we'll take that off. So I have the, that's the power plant unit, I think they call it. Pop that back in its bag. Here's the tradition extension thing with Chuck. There, look. Your household's best friend, the handy butler. A polishing bonnet. And then another box of this stuff. Now, if you remember on my other video, I asked what the heck these rubber cups were for, but I found out. There is a thread on Vacuumland written by, and I've forgotten your name now, if you're even watching this, an ex-Kirby salesman. And these have been going for years. These are what you put on your desktop, on your burp bench. So if you've got the grinding attachment for this, your Kirby doesn't slide around. That is what the rubber cup is for. And also interestingly, I thought there was one missing. Because in the tradition, it came with three. Here, it is only supposed to have two. I have one sanding disc, which can go there. Now, this is a little bit more interesting because on the legend, these were terrible. I still just try and wash them. However, on here, look, they're never used. And I'm not going to use them either. And that also confirms that my soft polishing bonnet was knackered because it was all shredded down to about there. This is so much nicer. Even the polishing sticks have never been opened. And quite frankly, never will be opened either. So that is actually very nice to have, an unused handy butler, because I shall just use the tradition one that I got, either just with the power plant kit, or I will just wedge naughtily the bits and bobs down. So if I can just put this back in the box, there we go. It's also a bit like how this doesn't just fit nicely down the side of there. It doesn't go. Which is a little bit annoying because you just want to sort of faff around a little bit trying to get it in. But there we go. Got there in the end. So yes, there's my handy butler group. I'm not quite sure. Am I missing anything Kirby folks? Obviously I'm missing individual tools. But I don't know if I'm missing actual boxes to go with it. Marvellous. That is cool, isn't it? But I'm saving what I think is the best bit until last. And the best bit until last sits inside this box. And it is one of these. It is a Kirby, there we go. This is the dust meter. This is what they used in demonstrations to show how much the Kirby picked up. If I bring this over here, I've never used one of these before. I've heard about them. And it's what, I saw it on the listing, didn't quite know what it was until I read up. And it made me want to just a little bit more because it sits on here 
like so. Oh, hang on, I don't want to break this. There we go. In place of the bag. So when you use it, oh, I've got the thing on. Um, when you use it, you can see how much dirt it is picking up. I should put the hose back on so that it turns on. Now it's supposed to have lots of little pads in it that go underneath to obviously stop it blowing all the dust back out. I don't have those pads at the minute. It didn't come with any. It came with these bits of tissue here, one of which was inside of it. So, yeah. I, 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 yeah. Do have some pads on order though. I found about £13 to me delivered from America for a hundred pads. So stay tuned really. And also two belts. They look a little bit bigger than the other but they will be utterly fine for my use. And these. Now these, zoom back a bit so I can come a little bit closer. One of them has sealed itself up sadly but the other one hasn't. And it is an order form. Keep your Kirby operating at peak efficiency. I'll scan this in. But it's from the Tradition, Heritage and Heritage 2 range. Go and buy the products listed. So for my Heritage 2, nine bags of 13 uh, US, so $13.95. Brush roll, all different serial numbers, but that's fifteen dollars to eighteen dollars. It doesn't even date, which is a bit of a shame. Although I'm, I'm, I'm sure those who know can date it. But you basically fold it all up, and you post it off in the UK. You have posted off to Redditch in Worcestershire. Now, I don't know if Kirby were in Redditch for very long. These don't have an address apart from the distribution address. So I don't quite know where the head office was, I'm afraid. But yeah, I don't think that, that might be the original box. I don't know, it's what I'm going to keep in. Might even be the original bag that it would have come with. But just for a laugh, because I really want to see what this does. This was in it. When I got it, you can sort of see where it tried. So although it might blow out quite quick. So we're all set up. I have the dirt meter fitted with the cleanest tissue that was in the box that came in, because my pads are going to take a while to come through. And all I'm going to do is just put it back once, slowly, and we'll see how much it picks up. <laughs> see it from your angle but that has picked up all of that grit uh, there we go look that's astonishing I might do the rest of the hallway since we're here and it's only a small hallway let me just bring you back a little bit so I'll do a full video when my pads turn up because I do like the idea of this. Oh, I can't go behind the camera, hang on. There we go. You can see everything. I'll go average speed, baby.
And look at what that picked up. That wasn't just grit. That was fluff as well. That's deep down. It's weird seeing it like this. Obviously, it's still picking this up, even though it goes into the bag. But because you can see it, I can see why this was such a successful demonstration tool. So that's a good starting point. We can see that that's, I'm going to enjoy making the video of this. So when my pads come, they're not going to give for a week or two because they're coming from America. So when they come, I shall use it on one of the Kirby's. I don't know which one yet. Depends on when I do the video. But I'm quite looking forward to that. So that is the Heritage 2 and all the assorted bits and bobs that I got for it. Don't know when you'll next see this because I'll be honest, I've got to put one of these Kirby's away just to make some space and concentrate on the other. And since the red one came in first, Legend 2 was first, yeah. it might go first. Although I'm going to take the brush roll from this because it is better and use that across both. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.